Hi, my name is Jay Jung from Newport Corporation. I'm a product manager for Photonics Instruments. And today I want to introduce you a few uh, newest products that we are really excited to introduce. Newport offers a full coverage of optical parameters and detectors of various types. All Newport parameters and detectors are fully compatible and exchangeable, except for a few legacy models. The model 2936C is our top of the line dual channel parameter with lots of advanced features. In this video clip, I would like to show you a few useful functions that allow you to measure very low optical power levels. The state-of-the-art electronic design with minimum noise allows you to achieve measurement unachievable with competitor products. Currently, the parameter is in the standby mode, which is similar to standby mode of a laptop computer. The parameter is still running, but is at an energy saving mode. By utilizing this feature, you can avoid the initial warm-up stage, which can affect your measurements. All you need is to press any button to uh, reactivate the power meter. Okay. Newport offers a broad range of NIST traceable photodiode, thermopile, and pyroelectric detectors. For low-power CW measurement, photodiode detectors are the best choice. First, let's change the wavelength to say 1550 nanometer with a large list of preset wavelengths and custom wavelengths it is very simple to make a new choice or modification and to simulate a dark room i put the detector face down on a smooth surface notice a few things here first the attenuator is off essentially the system current noise will determine the minimum measurable power level so it is important to provide a condition where the detector responsivity is at as high as possible. I also apply the analog and digital filters. The analog filter is an electronic low-pass filter, while the di digital filter is a computerized averaging. Both the filters will effectively reduce fluctuations and high-frequency noise. Finally, notice that zeroing has been applied. Since this offset was determined from the previous setting at a different wavelength, the value is no longer valid. To reapply the offset, all you need is to press the zero button twice. Now you see that the reading is showing a single digit picowatt level. Please make sure that the setup is completely light sealed. I once had a funny experience at a customer site. With the detector face up but covering it using a few layers of black cloth, we thought we put a detector in a complete darkness. But once every few seconds to minutes, the readings fluctuated a lot, and after a while, we finally figured out that it happened every time somebody opens the door to outside, which was approximately 20 feet away from the measurement setup. And the detector was picking up the different light level in the room. So please be very careful.